what I found really um, interesting uh, with Hawkins is there is a line in the Bible, and I can't remember it exactly because my memory of it, but it's something along the lines of, and John has come back as whatever, Isaiah or something like that. And if you do a muscle calibration on that, muscle test on that line, uh, I think that Jesus was saying, um, it comes out that he was referring to reincarnation through muscle testing. My own, my own um, assumption, shall we say, is that I feel Jesus didn't think it was the right context and the right time uh, to be going on at people, to the masses anyway. I, don't, I'm, I would feel probably to his disciples in a closed room the higher truths, you know, would be more palatable. They'd be able to bear or, or relate more to very higher spiritual wisdoms. But I think, you know, if he's giving a sermon on the hill or something, I think, um, you know, he wouldn't be talking about reincarnation because the context of the people and the time and the religious beliefs, it just wouldn't be appropriate for, for the highest good of them. And in the context of the situation, I'm pretty sure a lot of people you know, when you start to get into mystical states, you do uh, tend to get a lot of mystical experiences and a lot of uh, intuitions and a lot of uh, guidance, which is not obtained. And the reason for that is because when, when it's heavily identified with the ego and separation, those higher uh, observing states and even the witnessing of past lives uh, tends to be more restricted and, uh, and tends to happen less in more ego states. So I'm pretty sure there were lots of mistakes, but probably they might not have been shouting out about it to the Romans or the authorities or whatever. Okay, and I'll stop that. Uh,